Let me show you some quick video examples how I can manipulate women. If you didn't know, she's a tattoo master, right? Yep. And you have only one tattoo. What's up with you, girl? Uh, because of I can't choose uh, what uh, is better than my skin. What? Let, let me make you a tattoo. Me? Yes. No. Little, little that. I'm afraid of the pain. Just like one. Be. Oh, have I, I have I something promised you and not did it? No, right? No. You see? Okay. <laughs> All right, let me take off your hair. Okay, let's go. Yes, I can cook. Uh, what do you want? <laughs> can you make me a sandwich? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Seriously? Yes. The reason why I decided to show you some video examples because what I'm about to say is gonna sound insane to you. It's gonna sound wrong, misogynistic, disrespectful towards women. However, it works. And you need to understand one very important detail about women's psychology before you can learn how to manipulate women and how to make them submit to you on their own. One thing that no one understands and no one talks about is that female brain cannot make decisions cannot make choices and as a result cannot make any conclusions. This feature in their brain does not exist. It's completely neglected by mother nature. Now, once you understand this unique feature about female brain, you will be able to manipulate them and make them do things that you need them to do. This is the tactics that I use on all women. Now, I understand it sounds crazy, but let me first prove you and show you examples how women think and what I want you to do I want you to pay attention on how they make choices how they make decisions and how they're trying to make conclusions here's a little heads up for you you'll see that when women try to think I'll show you some videos where women's trying to think you'll see that they're not able to make conclusions they're not able to make any decisions for you're gonna see it for yourself I just watched a movie that is called The Red Pill by Casey J. This movie is about female and male rights in the society. And this movie was filmed by intelligent, uh, professional, educated woman, Casey J. The reason why I'm stressing out the fact that she's an educated woman, because I want you to see for yourself that no amount of education will make a woman smarter or will make a woman be able to learn how to make decisions and conclusions because this feature in their brain just doesn't exist. This is why for many years women were not allowed to go to schools. It's, it hasn't been done for, to disrespect women. It actually was done out of respect because, again, our ancestors understood women's psychology much better than modern society. Again, I'm not hating on women. I love them. It's just fact. So the movie starts with her being a feminist and she goes and interviews women and male activists. And in between those interviews, she records some of her video diaries where she shares her opinions, her decisions, her conclusions. And in those video diaries, you will be able to clearly see how woman tries to think and make decisions on her own. Let's take a look say that we live in a blue pill world where women are victims, men are perpetrators, and it's all a lie. And now we're brainwashed to believe this. And that's not true. And that men are slaves in this world. And women are, I don't think women are necessarily the puppet masters, but I think they're saying that women have the easy way out and men are, um, they're given medals and statues and written in the history books to justify them dying and being slaves to work or being uh, being used to progress societies. And I just I've believed for so long that that I'm at a disadvantage for being a woman and that I have to work harder than everyone else and I have more to overcome and I have more to prove just because of my gender. Notice how she says, I've been told to believe. So how the guy would be dealing with this situation? If the guy is getting oppressed, he's gonna express his opinion that he's oppressed based on his own experience. With women, it's different. Women 
if you are and women cannot draw these conclusions from her their own experience they've been told to think this way you see, you see the difference because women cannot understand what is right and what is wrong the MRAs are saying that this is all a lie and that guys are actually the ones that are disadvantaged and discriminated against and actually the more I learn from him the more I think thank god I wasn't born a guy um because I I don't think that the the expectations on men is good or healthy I mean they they have so much pressure to succeed and to be strong and to stand up and protect others and to put their lives on the line I don't think I would want that responsibility but you know 50 years ago no I wouldn't have wanted to be a woman you see how her opinion jumps right and left right and left so basically when you talking to a woman, when you're agreeing with women to do something, you cannot rely on women because their opinion constantly changes. And it's not because it's bad women, it's the way they are. But now, I, I mean, maybe just it's right now that the tides are changing and, and women are the... She's overloading. She's gonna overload. Look, look, she's gonna overload. Well, no, I don't know. That's it. This is female brain. It's not capable of thinking in higher terms. That's it, she's like overloaded. I don't know. For, for me, the answer is easy. You're gonna change your opinion again? And then sometimes I think the MRAs are just duping me and giving such a strong pitch about what they believe in to- You see how she can't make conclusions? That's actually just some out there theory that men are discriminated against and women are have the advantage. No conclusions. So if you didn't catch it, she's been living her whole life thinking that as a woman, she's oppressed, she has less rights than men do. Now, keep in mind that she's thinking this way, not because she feels oppressed, not because she made conclusions that she's oppressed. It's because other ethnists, other society told her that she's oppressed. It's not her decisions, it's not her conclusions. It's basically opinions of other women with whom she hangs out. As soon as she talked to male activists, she realized that men are more oppressed than women. So now she has an opinion of her thinking that men are more oppressed than women. But then she goes back to talk to women and she realizes again that women are more oppressed. So now since female brain cannot make decisions, her brain becomes overwhelmed because she doesn't know what to choose. She doesn't, she cannot draw conclusions. Who is right and who is wrong, who is more oppressed and who is not oppressed. So she, her brain is exploding at this point. And when a woman doesn't have a person who she can rely on, uh, who will tell her what to think, what to decide, who is right and who is wrong, uh, again, her brain overloads and she starts crying. Let's take a look at another fragment. getting overwhelmed because I don't know where I'm headed um, with what I believe and what is right and what is wrong and who is wrong and who is right and The truth is somewhere in the middle and that's why I'm feeling frustrated because I don't know where the truth is and I don't know in this fragment you can see how female's brain is so weak that uh, she basically reached a boiling point why again because she doesn't have this feature in her brain uh, making conclusions and decisions. It's, you know what type of feeling she's experiencing? Like a lot of men experience this feeling as well. Do you know how women can multitask and men can't? So when a man tries to multitask, do several things at the same time, you know this feeling when your brain gets cooked because like it's like so much attention you need to pay on because 
male's brain is not wired uh, to multitask. So if you try to continuously uh, multitask a day, imagine what type of exhaustion you're going to have in uh, your life. That's type of feeling of exhaustion all single ladies, all those career women have on a daily basis. It's a hell. It's, it's a nightmare. And also very important thing that you need to understand, uh, women can't make decisions, conclusions and choices, not only when it comes to hard topics such as politics, economy or social rights. Even when it comes to choosing what to eat, what does she want to eat, women cannot make a choice. They don't know what they want to eat. They don't know what type of boyfriend they need. So only now, when you understand this information, this little secret about women that no one talks about, because all those alpha and dating coaches on American YouTube are uh, fraud, they don't know jack about women. Now we get to the point where I can explain you how to manipulate, how to exploit this uh, female brain. Well, I, since I love women, I exploit them in a good, positive way. I will never hurt a woman, woman because I just love them. And I hope you're not going to use this method and technique in some sinister way to manipulate women. In order for your woman to always do what you want her to do, you basically need to become a person of authority for her. So, she, like, the only way for for you to become a person like that, she has to have huge amount of respect for you. In order for a woman to respect you, you basically have to tell her, like, what to do in a very, very, very confident way. Like, don't do this, do that. This is not how it works. If she says something, oh, like, I think this is right. I think women are oppressed in society. Your replies has to be not like you arguing with her, but rather, no, babe, this is not how it works. This is how it works. And then you explain in her your opinion. So basically you're drilling in her head what you want her to think. Also, when you go on a date, uh, don't ever ask a woman where we're going to go, what we're going to eat. Because, again, women cannot make decisions. Women cannot make choices. So you basically have to tell her. So if you go on a date with a girl, you have to tell her, hey, I'm feeling like eating a steak. We're going to a steakhouse. If woman comes up to you and she asks you a question, what type of dress I should put on, most of the guys will say, well, I don't know, like, put on whatever you want. You cannot reply like that. You always have to tell a woman what to do, what to wear. So you have to pick the dress. Like, this yellow dress is nice, put it on. Yeah, buy this yellow dress. You see, like, once you build in your conversation like that with your woman, once you once she gains your trust in you, um, after that, you can basically start telling her what you want her to do. But you have to say it in a very confident, strong way. I mean, I can show you some of my personal examples again, how I talk to a girl. Come on, babe, can you stand up? She thinks she's fat. Can you imagine, guys? Like, I've lived in the United States and I know what fat is. And she's like skinny. You're considered to be like super skinny in the US. But I, I'm, I'm fat in, in Russia. Can you take off your clothes? Which? Uh, these. Yeah. Okay. Can you stay like this? Oh, show me your other pictures. <laughs> no, no, no. Ah, no, 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 You'll no. Be, okay, let's go to this. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> Alright, guys. All for you. Come on, relax. Relax. No, please. It's for my guys. Come on. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> you look alright, come on. No. <laughs> oh, that's nice tits here. <laughs> my guys like Just looking at the tits. <laughs> Give me back my phone, it's my phone. I wanted to show what I wanted. Give me my phone. No. Please. You don't need to go on a diet. So, in order for you to be able to manipulate a woman, 
you have to understand this feature that women don't have their own thoughts. So every time you talk to a girl, you don't discuss anything with her. You just tell her what to do, what to wear, what you want her to do. And you're saying it in a very, very confident way. Now, I don't know like if this video is gonna go viral, if this video is gonna get any views. I'm not gonna say how to basically, I mean, using this method, you can actually seduce a girl on the first date. Like I had a lot of situations where I would go on a date with this girl and within 30 minutes, I will be smashing her in the bathroom. Why? Because like within 30 minutes, I'm able to build a report with her. I'm able to gain her trust in me on the date. Like, like I swear, like my fastest result was like 30 minutes from meeting the girl to smashing her in the bathroom. How did I do it? Again, like when I was having the conversation with her in those 30 minutes, I never discussed with her anything. I was just like telling her what to do, how to say, what to think. And uh, that's basically it, that works. So when I took this girl to the bathroom, like I basically told her, hey, why don't you come over with me in the bathroom? She was like, why? Like, I don't know, like, what do you want me to do? Like, why, why should we go to the bathroom? I was like, just go with me to the bathroom. And I did like a wink like that. And that's it. And women cannot control it. Every time a girl sees such a confident guy who knows what he wants, who talks to her like she's a little child. And I, this is how I talk to them because they are really little childs trapped in an adult female body. They will comply. They cannot control their brain because once you become their author authority, like since she doesn't have any thought, you can basically drill in her head what you want her to do, what you want her to think. So that's the video and I want to finish this video to show you the ending of the movie, The Red Pill, because I want you to see what type of conclusions Casey J did in her documentary movie. And you'll see that even though she's been filming this movie for the whole year or for two years or something like that, talking to men, activists, to a female activist, at the end of the movie, she still wasn't able to make a conclusion who is right and who is wrong. The reason why I like this movie so much, because I can, you can clearly see how female brain works. A year of filming men's rights activists and feminists, my descent into the rabbit hole was not slowing down. My education on gender politics was really just beginning. I learned about other sectors of the online manosphere like MGTOW, men going their own way, and a forum on Reddit called the Red Pill, which is separate from the men's rights community and they do not see eye to eye. I'm told an easy way to remember the difference is that while MRAs want to change the system, Reddit's the Red Pill want to take advantage of the system, and MGTOW want to leave the system. There are so many perspectives on gender, and I believe they are all worthy of listening to. However, the conversation is being silenced. For a society to accept anything said on behalf of women's rights, and then to shame any dialogue about men's rights and call it hate speech is precisely the problem. I don't know where I'm headed, but I know what I left behind. I no longer call myself a feminist.